Okay, so Redox. And feel free to ask questions even though they're listening. You can pay no attention to them. I don't usually. Don't worry about it. So, what I do, I think a nice place to start is charges. Remember what I said today about water? Just forget about it. If it's water, H+. Plus. So here we'll just go, here's an easy one. This is plus 3. Uh, this is 0. Iodine, anything elemental. Uh, now the harder ones, tell me if you don't want me to do this in my head. I'll try it in my head first though. This is going to be minus 2 for that oxygen. 3 times that is minus 6. So to get a minus 1 overall, I need a plus 5 here. Does that work for everybody? And if you'd like me to write it out, I can. Okay. Just make sure you're comfortable with it. Plus 5, minus 6 would be minus 1. And then over here, I'm going to do something of the same. It would be minus 2 again for oxygen. That's like your standard, unless it's O2. And then, so that's minus 14. Um, but from 2, that'll be a plus 12 divided by 2. We are plus 6. Does that work? So 6 times 2 is 12, plus a minus 14 is a minus 2. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so there's our charges. Uh, which one gets oxidized? Mm, I would, no. Chromium. Chromium gets oxidized. Which one is the oxidizing agent? I'll eat. Yeah, and I, we would just say, you can say iodate or iodine, I'd accept both. So iodine is reduced, it's also called the oxidizing agent. Chromium is oxidized, it's also called the reducing agent. Okay? Alright, so now let's split them up into half reactions. And uh, go from there. Well, we've got, in one case, chromium 3 plus goes to chromium 2O7. 2 minus, and then in the other case, we've got uh, IO3 minus goes to I2. And we'll try to balance this both in acidic and basic conditions. Okay, so we'll try both so you can see how it works. Let's try the top one. The top one again is the oxidation reaction. Okay, so step one. Balance anything that's not oxygen or hydrogen. In this case, that's chromium. We have two there, right? So put a two right there. So now we have two chromiums on both sides. Next step, step two, is balance oxygen. And we have these water. Okay, so we have seven there. So I'm going to put plus seven H2O. All right? Now I've got the same number of oxygens on both sides. Next step is hydrogen. I've got 14 on the left, so I want 14 on the right. Okay. Last step is charge. Is this okay so far? Yeah. Last step is charge, and that's with an electron. What's the overall charge on the left-hand side right now? Plus three. Plus three. Plus three six. times two, which is six. Is that okay? Because there's two chromiums. So there's a chromium with three, another chromium with three. So they have a total of plus six. On the right-hand side, what is it? Positive 12. Positive 12. 12. 14 minus two. Okay. So plus 12, I need to get to six. So I better add, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm adding electrons now. Uh, I think six would do it. <clears throat> Let's see, double check to make sure we're okay. On the right, left hand side, two times three is six, plus six. Right hand side, 14 minus six is eight, minus two is six. Okay, so it's plus six on both sides. So that's a balanced charge. Boom, that one's done. Okay, let's get our other pen, and we'll do the uh, reduction. First step, balance anything that's not oxygen or hydrogen. In this case, it has to be iodine, and it does work here, two and two. I have to do it. Second step, 
is uh, oxygen, right? How many w waters do I need to add? Six. Six, two times three. Plus six H2O. Okay, so that's oxygen's on both sides, that's okay. Next is hydrogen with H plus. How many H pluses do I need? Okay. Twelve H plus on the left hand side. And then will I add electrons to the right or left? If I put it here, so what's the overall charge here is 12 minus 2, that's 10. If I put it here, I'm, I'm, I, there's no way I can get a positive number. Is that okay? So I'm going to try here. So I want to, there's 12 minus 2. Is that okay? 10 electrons. And the key thing to remember, electrons and H plus are almost always on the same side. So that's just a little double check for you. Did they end up on the same side or not? doesn't have to be that way, but often we see that happen. Okay, there we go. Now I have my half reactions done. Let's get another color out. I'm going to add these up. Remember, my intermediate will be electrons. We got six here. And 10 here, what's the lowest common factor? 6 and 10. 30. Is it 30? I guess that's as small as we can go, huh? Yeah. Okay. So, this is why it's going to be painful. The top one I have to multiply by 5. And the bottom one I have to multiply by 3. That's going to make electrons, which are my intermediate, cancel out. I'll have 30, 30 electrons on either side that cancel. Okay. So, uh, let's write this out. <laughs> um, so, starting with the reactants, 35 water plus 10 CR3 plus plus uh, 3 times, oh my goodness, 36 H plus plus 6 I O. Minus. Okay, let's just, just want to double check, make sure I multiplied everything correctly. I think it is. I'm not writing the electrons because I know they're going to cancel. Uh, I think that looks okay. Now let's do the right side. Five uh, dichromates. And then I have... Uh, 28. 5 times 14. Oh, I was thinking of 2. Yeah, that's 70. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. 70 H plus. And I have 3 I2. And then I have 3 times 6. 18, 18 waters. Wonderful. It's a fantastic problem. Okay. So now, let's do some cancellations. This is going to be my acidic answer once I simplify. So, <laughs> what can cancel? You can subtract the hydrogens. Yeah. So, 36 and 70. All these are going to be gone. It's totally gone. 70 minus 36 is? 34. 34. Okay. And water should cancel. There's 18 waters, they're all going to be gone on the right hand side. 18 from 35, is that 17? Mm -hmm. Okay, I believe that's all that cancels. So now, let's uh, just rewrite it, okay? Just so we get the final acidic answer. Uh, 17 H2O plus 10 chromium 3 plus, plus 6 uh, iodate ion goes to 5 uh, dichromate ion plus 34 H plus plus 3 I2. So I have that.
given if I didn't make a mistake so far mathematically. That's my next step. Okay, now let's see what's left here. That's my acidic answer, so I'll put a little star by it. If you were asked for the acidic conditions, you could stop right there.